Turn around. Come on. Bro, that is not a crime. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Why are you cursing me? It's not a crime. What's your name? It's not a crime. What's your name? Help! Hi, this is attorney Rich Gillardi with Shane Smith Law. Today we're going to be talking about saying and communicating derogatory things to police. So as you can see from the video, this young man is doing something that's probably unadvisable but not illegal. He gave a police officer the middle finger and the police officer did not take kindly to it. So he came after the young person and confrontation exists as we'll continue to see. Oh, am I free to go? No. What, what do you have a problem? No. You have a problem? No. Well, I have the I can leave. Why are you you're giving me the finger when you're walking? Huh? Come here. Get over here. What? Get over here. Is that a lawful order? Yeah. For what reason? Because you're giving me the finger. That's legal. No, it isn't. Says who? Says it all. Pull up the law. Huh? Pull up the law. What's your name? What's the law? What's your What's name? The law? What's your name? So this young man knows his rights. He is accurately saying that it is legal for him to give the middle finger to a police officer. Certainly not advisable. It may lead to a confrontation as you see, as we've been watching. However, it is legal in protected speech to give the middle finger to a police officer. So now you can see that this situation has evolved into a full-blown controversy and stemming from the young man giving the middle finger to the police officer and then subsequently saying foul language or curse language towards the police officer. Now he is within his right to communicate that way. There are Supreme Court decisions which states that it is protected speech communicate in that manner towards law enforcement. However, again, it's not advisable because something such as this could happen and we'll see how the situation goes from here. Get over here. What? Get over here. I'm not doing anything illegal. Yeah, you are. You just cursed me off. That's not Turn a around. crime. Yes, it is. Says who? Says me. Says Turn who? Turn around. Come on. Bro, that is not a crime. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Why are you cursing me? It's not a crime. What's your name? It's not a crime. What's your name? Help! Help! No help! I'm twice you shot me the finger. So I turn around and say, well, you are Is that right? a crime? No problem. Then he tells me that's not a crime. Then he tells me to go. That's not a crime. That's not a crime. That's not a crime. That's not a crime. He's looking at you because he's like, what the fuck do you want me to do? Because it's not a crime. I know my rights. Who are you? I don't have to say any of that. Uh, you do if you're being detained. For what reason? What, what, what legal reason am I being detained for? Where are you coming from? Where are you what legal reason am I being detained for? I need to know that. Legally, I need to know that. So this is how the situation ends, is that the backup police officer arrives on the scene and states accurately that it is not a crime to give the middle finger or express curse words towards a police officer. So the situation eventually resolves itself. However, again, it's not advisable to communicate in that manner towards law enforcement, but it is within your legal rights. If you need help with this or anything else, reach out to us at 980-999-9999. In pain, call Shane. In pain, so I call Shane. 980-999-9999. In pain, call Shane.